Hey friends, we are back at Costco for a second time because the store is so huge and I didn't get to show you everything the last time. I have returned and not only have I returned to show you what's here, I'm also going to be buying some goodies and some things. So I'm gonna bring you along. Hope you're doing well. Let's look around Costco, it's so fun. If you've been hanging out with me for any length of time, you know that I go to Sam's Club because that's what's in our town. So this is a little further away and uh, we got a year membership to check it out and have some fun. One thing I'm noticing about the difference between Costco and Sam's Club, at least where we're at, is that they have a ton more in terms of household items. So the forks and the knives and all the bowls and all of the things, you know, that you're gonna use at your house. So tons of fun cute little dishes that you can add to your collection. Oh yes, Pro Keeper. Now I've heard of this brand and you can keep your produce. You know that I use jars. If you haven't seen the video of how I get my produce to last forever, I'll link it below and you can check that out. But they do have tons of baking storage sets. I do have some different organizing bins like this. So they come as a set of four. You can use those in the fridge. I love keeping things organized, you know how it is. And how fun is this? They have a Hello Kitty or Mickey Mouse Pyrex. Never seen such a thing, that's fun. Over in the aisle next to us, toilets. If you need your toilet, you come here to Costco and you get that. Someone told me, and I would love to hear from some others, that you can also get a casket at Costco. I haven't seen it here. <laughs> Maybe that's an online order only, I don't know. They literally have everything here, wow. Costco has had the sale on bathing suits, a four-piece swim set, Eddie Bauer, $9.99. So the girls need some swimsuits, and I'm thinking here's the place to get them. It's just if we find the sizes that we need. So first off, here's what I'm seeing. This one's looking cute. Here's a four-piece. $9.99, you get all the pieces. What? Does that seem crazy? except I think I might like this one a little bit better. And it's reversible. So the striped one, you reverse it to purple. Um, it looks like they only have the bigger sizes for you know the older girls. So I'm gonna get this for Johanna and it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get anything for Nola or Zion, but hey, I'll take that one. I looked at these last time, $6.99. This bag is huge and loaded up for Doritos. I wanna give a little something for the kids. Just look at this. Okay, so three pounds of bananas, $1.39, 46 cents a pound. That's cheaper than Meyer, which is the cheapest that we can get them outside of Aldi. Aldi's not always the best at quality. And I could definitely use some bananas. So we're gonna throw a couple of these babies onto the cart. Oh baby, cheese for days. I wanted to compare the Parmesan because that's what we buy at Sam's Club. I wanna see what they've got here. So they have Parmesan, just plain Parmesan, it doesn't look like. They've got Parmigiano Reggiano, but that's not the one I'm looking for. An entire aisle for your dog, like both sides, up and down, food. We've got toys, we've got beds, we've got bones, we have potty pads. Everything that you want right here for the dog. It's amazing. We're going to the most important aisle. Just found out the Kirkland premium paper towels are actually cheaper and they are at Sam's Club. That might have to go in my cart, what say you? Mm-hmm. The toilet paper is also cheaper, $19.99 for the big pack of it. How many of you used the Kirkland bath tissue or toilet paper compared to the Sam's Club members, Mark? I wanna know. I'm getting this big dog because we're saving money and guess what? We're gonna be using the toilet for always and forever, I imagine, so <laughs> good deal. We're trying so many things. The Kirkland Signature Dishwasher Packs. There's 115 for $11.69. Over at Meyer, you get 105 for $11.98. So 30 cents cheaper here and you get 10 more pods. I'm hoping these are amazing. Tell me your thoughts. I don't need more Jet Dry, but it is currently on sale, $4 off. Sam's Club also does this deal and they just got done with theirs. So if you have time, you come on down and grab yourself some of this stuff. Your dishes will be so happy. They'll dry better, they'll look better, they'll be cleaner. It's amazing, $7.49 for that guy. We're looking at store brand detergent. This is the free and clear, which we like to use. So we've been using the Meyer brand of the free and clear, which has been great. Well, they ran out like a while ago. So we started using the all from Sam's Club and I found that my clothes were not getting as clean. So we went back to Meyer. I have to price check on this. So I'm wondering your thoughts on the Kirkland brand. Tell me what you think. I'm not gonna buy it today. I have plenty of detergent at home, but it's a thought and I'd like to know yours. Oh, the Scrub Daddy folks. They've got the variety pack. I do love Scrub Daddy products and I have their dish wand. I need to get another dish 
uh, whatever you call it, sponge for it. I love the Scrub Daddy products. Anybody else? If I needed trash bags, I would be getting them here. They're a dollar cheaper than they are at Sam's Club for the same amount. And they have two different ones. They've got scented, which I'm not a big fan of, and then the unscented. So all down this aisle, we've got drinks on one side, and then we've got trash bags. Like, I didn't know that there were this many options for trash bags. Did anybody else know that? And then <laughs> Ziploc. I was definitely hoping that there was a Kirkland, you know, style of these wipes for the counters because I've used the Clorox ones and they're very, very soapy. I don't know about the Lysol. I haven't compared those before. The price looks pretty good. I'd have to do a little more comparing. It is $3 off currently. They're doing a sale on the Lysol wipes, which is fantastic. And then we do have our bleach. We've got our Swiffers of all kinds, dusting, floors, more floors. What is this? Heavy wet, heavy duty wet cloths. Okay. We are now in the aisle of drinks. Mm, so many juice options. So many. We've got cherry. We've got apple. We have Welch's grape. Oh, I love a grape juice. Organic strawberry lemonade. Organic lemonade. Cranberry. Ooh, cranberry. Come on now. You know that's good. Mango nectar. Okay. Passion orange guava. So lots of unique options here at Costco. And then Sunny D. You know, we go for the organic and then we just go for, <laughs> we go for Sunny D. Does that not throw you back Kool-Aid? Man, a big picture of Kool-Aid. You better believe our house didn't make that, but my friends did, my friends did. Crunchy Cheetos, $1.80 off, $4.99. Am I gonna buy it for my kids? Yeah because I just love those little stinkers. And now we enter the aisle of chips, lots of tortilla chips. Mixed in is a lightly salted um, harvest snap. Ooh, I think I've had these before. Parsnip, sweet potato, taro, and bata batata. Whatever that is, it sounds really cute. That's fun, $6.99 for those. And that is a 20 ounce bag. We have our veggie straws. I'd have to compare that one. I'm not sure how that compares. Okay, I just looked it up and it's actually cheaper to get it here. You get a slightly larger bag and uh, a slightly lower price per ounce. So Costco for the win. Don't even get me started on peanut butter pretzels. $10 for the pack. <laughs> I'm not buying them, but they look good. The thing about Costco is I just keep seeing lots of grain-free options, lots of organic tons and tons of options left and right this is the store of opportunity no way so they have bacon here this is four pounds for 12.99 meaning that it's three dollars and 24 cents a pound you can't buy bacon for that price anywhere how is this bacon tell me your thoughts on that wow also in case if you're wondering there's lots of options antibiotic free applewood smoked bacon they've got thick slice down at the bottom I'm looking here at the big grated cheese. Lately, we've been buying the chunks of cheese and grating it ourselves, but this is actually a fairly good price compared to Sam's Club. I feel like Sam's Club uh, cheese is really overpriced in my opinion, but $13.99 for two and a half pounds of grated cheese, making it $2.79 a pound. Not too bad. I could definitely get it cheaper, but it's not terrible. Then we've got organic uncooked flour tortillas. What? Okay, almond flour grain-free tortillas, fantastic. It's just, there's a lot of cheese going on. Anybody see that theme right there? Lots of cheese. I am needing some more plastic wrap and I typically don't get it at Sam's Club because it's a bit on the pricier side, so I get it at Aldi. But this price, 1,500 square feet for $12.99 is just actually exactly the same uh, price per unit as it is at our Aldi. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this here today because we use it, so I'm gonna get it. I do love a good kombucha. I do love a good kombucha. This is ginger lemonade. I don't know that I've had that flavor before. $12.99 for that guy. This one over here is a little bit more per ounce and you get some different flavors in it. Island mango, super berry. Clear Mind has rosemary, mint, sage, and green tea in it for $11.99. Yogurt and dairy really is this whole area. I am gonna look at their yogurt here just to see if they have some of the larger containers, which I'm seeing. <gasps> They have Faye, oh my word. You know me, that's my favorite. This one's 2% though, and I really like the 5%. $6.99 for a three pound tub is phenomenal. 
Wow, that is really tempting to grab that. That is much larger than the one that I can get at Meijer and it's cheaper per ounce. But it's the 2%, do I give in? I mean, I still like the 2%. Okay, I'll do it. Holy moly, Masacholi, butter is $2.74 a pound. Ours is $3.15 a pound. $10.99 for four pounds of unsalted butter. Um, yeah, I will be getting that, thank you very much. It's pizza time. Those of you that are pizza connoisseurs, tell me, are these any good? I have not had them. Here's gluten-free. Here's that Mexican-style street corn that I see everywhere. So this one has all the yum in it, and I'm guessing you just heat it up. There are four individual bags, and then it comes with a little cheese pack, too. Wow, I like that. More, like, international delights over here. Yakisoba, oh, I love soba noodles. And then vegetable spring rolls, prawn, Ha, ha, ka, ha, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Show you ramen. I don't, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm just showing you for the fun, okay? <laughs> and then we've got fried rice over here, beef bulgogi. Oh, I make a chicken bulgogi. That is delicious. Ooh, so, okay, so many yummy things over here. I'm seeing a lot of different milk options. Oat, we've got almond, what, the, what is this? Oh, macadamia milk. Oh, okay, I have never seen that. Um, the almond milk is running $10.99 and the macadamia nut beverage is $13.99. They've also got soy, $14.49 for the 12 count. I am where I wanted to be. This is honey glazed root vegetables, which is great. But I don't necessarily want that. I'm kind of looking for some veggies I can throw in the oven and give myself a little roasted goodness. This is 100% what I was looking for. It's $7.99 for this huge bag. I roast them in the oven, $4.50, throw some olive oil, salt and pepper, and you got yourself a happy deal. Everything bagel seasoning could go on there if your heart desired it. I mean, there's options. You can just do it up however your heart desires tons and tons of berry options. Now, I won't be getting this one because it has strawberries in it, and for some reason, frozen strawberries taste very odd to me, so we stay away from that. We make smoothies every day. Mango chunks, that does actually sound really good. And then we've got the sweet cherries. They have organic super smoothie blends, already blended up kale, spinach, mango, banana, blueberry, strawberries. You just throw it in your blender and got yourself a morning goodness, or whatever time of day you like to do that, and then, how about tropical super greens, mango, pineapple, peach, kale, spinach, avocado. Frozen fish and shrimp going on over here for all of your delights. So many frozen seafood options. Cod, we've got salmon, tilapia, mahi-mahi. Ooh, I make a good mahi-mahi taco. It is so good. We've got battered things, everything crusted cod. Oh, okay, that does sound good actually. We've got shrimp, panko shrimp, tortilla crusted tilapia, what? Wow, that is new to me, never heard of that, but it does sound very intriguing. So if you wanna make it for me, I'll try it. That sounds fine. Breakfast has arrived. Hey, I'm gonna be doing a food prep with me for the week and I'm going to be making a really yummy like breakfast burrito goodness. You gotta come back for that. Spinach egg white frittatas cheddar biscuit okay okay there are some good things going on over here one thing i've noticed is they don't have cucumbers they don't they do have nutella let's price check that my friend they don't have cucumbers they don't have peppers something that i was hoping to get <laughs> and i haven't seen salad either so maybe it's hiding well almost had a heart attack this nutella is uh, several ounces larger per jar and right now there's a sale four dollars and ten cents off making it nine dollars and eighty nine cents now you guys know that I don't normally do a lot of stocking up but this price is so ridiculously good so I'm getting more for much much less saving a ton I will go ahead and get this one even though we don't need it quite yet but you know we will eventually as every other aisle has shown us the amount of options for things is over the top all of this is peanut butter then we get to almond butter mixed nut butter and I want to look over here at the like uh, spreads because we like ours smooth and these may actually be a better deal let's have a look oh that doesn't look smooth at all okay just kidding I'm sure it's great but we're not going that route we've got cereals and cereals these boxes seem smaller 
than Sam's, but of course we'd have to do a price comparison. Um, I'm not gonna do it on all of these, <laughs> but sometime when we need to buy those, maybe I will come back and do that. Did you know that there were this many options for honey? This one is hot honey. What does that even mean? Oh, it's got habanero pepper and scotch bonnet pepper. Whoa, that would be intense. What would you even use that on? Oh, drizzle over chicken or pizza, add to a margarita, or top off a bowl of vanilla ice cream. What? Okay. I kind of feel like the prices on honey might not be terrible. I'd have to really think it through, but you can get your organic raw honey. Down here, they've got wildflower honey. Nothing beats some local wild honey, right? Mm. Just stopped off at an amazing deal. So Aldi has syrup, probably the cheapest that I can find. And it is actually um, 0 0.08 cents an ounce. 8.49 is the total on this log cabin one for these two huge fellers. And they don't have high fructose corn syrup. And we like our syrup because I make homemade pancakes and waffles. And that, this, this is necessary for that, is it not? I would love to know. Okay, back in the day, when I was in seventh grade, I went to an all girls camp in Maine, Camp Wawanock, look it up. It was lots of fun. Well, we would have, you know, waffles and pancakes for breakfast and that kind of a thing. And people from all over the world would come to this camp. It was amazing. Um, and there were people that would put just sugar on the top of their pancake. Some would put peanut butter. Some would put peanut butter and syrup. Some would put just syrup. Someone would put butter. I wanna know, how do you eat your pancake? What's the magic for your pancake goodness? Tell me. $9.99 for dark chocolate and peanut butter granola. Now I make my own granola, but it doesn't include all of that, but that does sound amazing. I'm seeing tomato paste, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes. You guys come back and I will, ooh, whole peeled tomatoes. Come back and I'm gonna make you guys my salsa, it's so good. I'm about to freak out in the best way possible. So I make a lot of sourdough bread and I make a lot of bread items, meaning that I use bread flour a ton. King Arthur is one of the best prices around and on sale, Myers costs just a penny less than this, but they're not always on sale. 10 pounds for $7.99 is really incredible. And so I'm gonna be buying this because I definitely need it. I'm thinking I'm going for two of these babies. My heart is so happy right now, the flour here is like a dollar cheaper than Sam's Club. All-purpose flour, $9.49. You can also buy the almond flour. You can do measure for measure gluten-free flour, which I have used many times in the past. The organic flour is nearly, I don't know, two and a half times higher than the all-purpose, but if that's what your heart desires, you know, go for it. Wow, so lots of baking things. We have ghee over here. We've got coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and then your canola, vegetable, and uh, olive oil down there at the end. You know we do chocolate chips like all day, every day, and these are $9.99. So this is cheaper than Aldi. This is cheaper than Sam's Club by far. And I'm going to be grabbing four and a half pounds of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Nobody's mad, everybody's happy. We need to take a moment. This is so exciting. They have not had the Lindsay's Crafted Olives in the store for, I would say, almost a year. And here they are. $13.49 for eight packs of these guys. Yeah, these yeah. are so... Oh, Izzy's gonna get it for me. Hey, the fam has joined me. They were hanging out. And now they're hanging out with me. These are so, so good. I, I've been spoiled by these. They're that good. Who's tried the Famous Dave's Sweet and Spicy Pickle Chips? I'm kind of obsessed with pickles right now. Like, I may be making my own very soon, FYI. Mm -hmm. I ran out of balsamic vinegar and I'm wanting to get some more. This is $11.99 for the bottle. Mm, I don't know if I'm ready to go all in for that yet. If you've tried this one, tell me what your thoughts are. I am in shock and awe. This is it for noodles, you guys. <laughs> um, we're not in Kansas anymore. I don't know how I would ever survive on such a thing. Where's all my options? This Rayo sauce comes in much larger jars, and I love that they're wide mouth. I'll be reusing those. They are $11.99, so it's a little bit cheaper per ounce to get them in at Costco, which means I'm gonna get them at Costco. And I think we're gonna go for two packs of two, Izzy. We hit the jackpot and found club crackers. So at Sam's Club, it's like nine something, but the way the ounces work is the box is different. It's about uh, 20 cents more an ounce to get them at Sam's Club over here at the Costco. So we are grabbing a box a faux show of the club crackers. Guys, this store is so huge. It's already been well over an hour that we're here and that was half the store um, because I showed you the other half the last time. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you watch it. But there's still like all of the, the all of the, the self-care things over behind me. Soap, 
shampoo. It's kind of like everybody care, isn't it? Not just for yourself. It's a, a gift that keeps on giving. We're going to check out and then I'll give you the total of this excitement. Guys, I can't believe this. I had to run back and do something real fast and I walked in here and realized there's a whole like cold area for produce. We're obviously coming back because I didn't get to go in here at all and show you any of this. Oh, next time. Mm -hmm. You know the nice thing about Costco, my friend, is that they have somebody that takes everything out of your cart and puts it on the belt and then puts it back into the cart. Sam's Club used to do that and then COVID happened, so I don't know if they'll ever bring it back, but man, it was sure nice. It makes it for a much quicker, smoother deal. Okay, instant savings today, I saved $15.90. Then all the savings I did just by comparing prices. Do I have the total on that? No, but there was some good stuff there. Our total was $214.04 for really the month. This is like our, our nice little once a month for Costco. So tons of good deals going on. Hope that you guys are doing amazing. Make sure to watch the last Costco video if you haven't. Also get ready, we'll be doing our full once a month grocery haul coming up where we go to all of our other stores as well as doing a food prep for the week. So I hope you'll join me and I'll talk with you guys really soon. Toodaloo.